Hey Cancerians, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well. So just like I told everybody else, sorry about the um the lights and the stuff being out of uh, Hurricane Barrel or whatever her name is. She even came through and fucked up our power. So you gotta excuse me. Um, but I hope you guys will receive this message even without the power. So hopefully that doesn't matter in this reading today. But if it does, I do apologize and the power will be back on soon. But um, so let's see what's going on, Cancerians. Let's see. All right, let's tap in. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for your love, your support, your donations, and your super chats, your super thanks. Okay, sending you guys a lot of love and lights, and I'm returning that back to you all tenfold. All right, so let's tap in, Cancer. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return any spell work, any dark magic that assists to harm Cancer and your loved ones. Me and my loved ones return it back to the sender. Block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages for my Cancerians. And protect me as I channel the messages for Cancer. I got my computer charging up in my car right now. So that way I can use my computer to charge up my phone. Okay, period. <laughs> so let's see what's going on for Cancer. I'm at like 70-something percent right now. So we can get through this and probably another reading. Before I go get my computer. So let's see. Let's see what's going on here for you, Cancerians. So we have rage, mood changes, instability. We got Taurus here. Um, we're dealing with a Taurus. We have ignoring the signs in the reverse. So that's good. What else? Spirit numbers 11, 11, intuition, and archangels. Okay, so some sort of synchronicities and symbols are very clear to you at this time. Your prayers could be getting heard of Cancer. I'm about to call you Aries. But your prayers could be getting heard here. Whatever you're praying for or manifesting could be coming into fruition for you. Okay, or somebody here just can't ignore the signs about something no more. What else? Once I feel like somebody's going through a really deep awakening. Okay, once you awaken, that's it. It's like you can't... um. You can't go back. So it say money over love here, hard worker, love on the back burner, soul tie, divine love, powerful connection, time to myself, elevating awareness, raising vibration. Yeah. So let's see what this is about Cancerians. So somebody is upset that somebody is going through an awakening. Somebody could be trying to make your mood change or make you feel uncomfortable or whatever, but I feel like you're understanding now what somebody is trying to do and it's not working. So. Sucks for them. Let's get one more. Shuffle for another. For the other side, let's see. Three of Cups reverse, the Emperor reverse, the Tower. Mm. Aries, we got Cancer, Mercury, we got yeah, Scorpio, Aries again. So strong Aries. That's why I was gonna say Aries. So somebody, either somebody could be finding out they're not the father of a child, because somebody here is cheating with the Three of Cups in the reverse, or. Somebody is enraged, this emperor in the reverse, this narcissist, this narcissistic baby daddy of yours, or whoever this male figure is, is enraged because they're losing people around them, they're losing friends, or people don't trust this person no more, they're being seen as someone that lacks discipline, structure, they're not being seen as a leader, or something like that, but let's just see though, somebody, because you know, narcissists, they like to be validated a lot, they need outside validation, so what's rage here? Knight of Swords, Gemini Energy. What's rage with the Knight of Swords? For some of you, somebody's enraged because you're not paying attention to their ass. You're focused on something else. Or they're, they're mad because you're being direct or blunt or very honest about something that you're saying or something that you're doing is just pissing somebody off. You're focused on something else. You're determined. You're driven to get something done. You're going after something. Okay, Ten of Wands in the reverse. So, yeah, I feel like you released a responsibility or a burden, and now you're free of something. You're taking action. You're being assertive here. This is like 
also the Knight of Swords is someone that's heroic. They're really a strong leader. They think really quick on their feet, very intelligent. Yeah, you're not waiting for something to come to you. You're going to get it. Magician reverse, four pentacles reverse. Hmm. So somebody is mad because that little plan to steal from you with magic or that little plan to just be a trickster, a conniving person around you, period. It didn't work. So now they're upset. What's the Knight of Swords? The Queen of Wands. Yeah, this is you taking action or this is somebody coming towards you. Okay, Aries energy with the Queen of Wands. There's some sort of big changes that could be coming in for you. Maybe watch your your mood as well. Um, Aries, I mean, Cancer. Okay, maybe go watch Aries that I did yesterday. But this is you being courageous and bold and going after something that you're desiring. What's the Knight of Swords, Queen of Wands? Okay, the Sun in the Reverse. Leo energy. I'm hearing somebody is mad that you're saying something about them. Like, yeah, the Ace of Swords. <laughs> they mad as fuck that you're saying something about them here. Someone had high hopes for something to happen to you or high hopes for something. But they've been let down here. Somebody's disappointed. The Sun in Reverse also talks about oppression. So somebody... It's trying to cause you to feel stuck again is what I'm getting or like oppressed or like you can't be free of something. Whoever this is is trying to control you. Like they feel like they have ownership over you or some shit like that. Like they're going to control your moves. <laughs> Excuse me. They don't like the fact. Yeah, this narcissist. They don't like the fact that you are uh, confident and bold. This could be like as a woman, you could be a woman that's feeling this way. And this man over here, this little ass boy rather. Is mad as fuck. Like, they're mad. That nothing that they're saying or doing is bothering you or hurting you. Like, you're really happy with yourself. And somebody is upset about it. What's the sun reverse? Definitely in the ego. Yeah, the eight of swords. Yeah, somebody here is oppressed. They're stuck. They're stuck. They're oppressed. Or this is what they're trying to project or have you in. But they were hoping to have you stuck or have you to self-sabotage. Make you feel like you're restricted or bound, but it's really them that feels like that. So, Gemini, Jupiter here with the Eight of Swords. What's the Queen of Wands here? Or somebody mad because they're going their ass to jail. Yeah, the star. Somebody here thought they was going to stop your shine here, period. You could have Aquarius in your chart. Somebody thought that they was going to stop you from being an inspiration or stop you from being optimistic, keeping your faith. Um... Being motivational to others, shining. They thought they was going to stop your shine or stop you from feeling confident enough to shine. This person here mad as fuck. Like, what's the sun reverse, eight of swords? Yeah, the six of cups in the reverse. This is somebody that can't release or get over the past. They're stuck on the past here with you. Scorpio energy with the six of cups reverse. And you're focused on something totally different or you're remaining focused because I feel like what they're trying to do is make you stop focusing on something, but you're going to get back at it. Whatever this is, you're taking action and somebody here is upset. Maybe somebody is coming towards you and somebody else is mad. I don't know, but I feel like they need to get over it. What's the Ten of Wands reverse? The Ten of Swords. You guys can see it, Ten Ten. So something is, yeah, something is coming to an abrupt end. For some of you, this is a real nasty divorce or this could be like gossiping here, slander. Somebody has stabbed you in the back a lot. I feel like um, this would also talk about somebody trying to curse you as well. And it's going back on their ass. What's the Ten of Wands reverse Ten of Swords? The Lovers. So it's just giving me that somebody is trying to like curse a healed person. Like, you know, people can try to put curses over your life, but I feel like you're at a point in your journey where that just won't happen. Somebody could be trying to curse your love life here. They could be trying to, they're trying to block you from a connections that actually align with you. I feel like this, it's not working. It's actually backfiring. 
it's backfiring because something is now balanced within you with the lovers. Some of you guys also have a really nice project or something nice that you want to do. You're trying to make a decision about it. And someone is trying to just confuse you. They're trying to cause you more um, stress or burden or whatever. They're trying to make you chronically like fatigued or drained or tired. So that way you won't be able to move forward with a project or a particular person that you want to date. But I feel like this is this is just talking about you balancing your energy out. Like somebody is pissed because they can't attack your sacral chakra. They can't fuck up your connections. They can't fuck up your creativity, your work, nothing. Everything is balanced. And they're mad as fuck that they can't do this. What's the lovers? Strong Gemini here, Aquarius, Leo. Yeah, the Knight of Cups, period. Yeah, so somebody is mad. They couldn't block this. You're getting a lover here. Or you just have some really good news coming in. You're following your heart. But somebody, <laughs> they mad at these false accusations or this, this... Whatever somebody is saying is not affecting your decision making at this time. Just period. So somebody, you got somebody coming towards you very quickly or... This could just be you and your person because it says soul tie, divine love, powerful connection. This is like you and your person really focused on your journey together, but you guys could be separated, but you're focused on individual things that could help strengthen your journey when y'all do come together. Somebody here is mad as fuck about that. Like they dead ass mad <laughs> that they couldn't stop this here. Let me write something down. Hold on, Cancer. Yeah, so let, let's see. What's ignoring the signs reverse? Seven of Cups reverse, exactly. This is like being like a, a root of awakening or somebody is moving away from whatever was causing the illusions or the mess here. Somebody is now seeing something very clear. Who's ignoring the signs reverse with the seven of cups reverse? Scorpio Venus. There's too many. What's ignoring the signs here? The tower. For some of you, somebody here missed an opportunity. They're trapped. They missed an opportunity here. Definitely someone is very materialistic and superficial as well. So they really thought they was going to get something. Yeah, money over love. They thought they was going to trap somebody or keep somebody stuck or stop them from being able to go on and make their money or whatever. Yeah, like no. <laughs> Mm -mm. so this is divine intervention with the tower aries scorpio energy a lot of aries here or it's, i'm just getting it intuitively because i really don't see no aries besides that queen of wands and now the tower it's more gemini here than aries <laughs> so what's the seven of cups in the reverse so something shocking is coming out. Yeah, yeah the justice reverse. What's seven of cups reverse? Justice reverse. Four of wands in the reverse. Aries, Venus, Libra. So a contract is over. There's a contract here that's over and somebody getting bad karma. This person, like I said, they're losing friends or support, a support system. Somebody could even be losing a home. But I'm definitely getting this contract is over between you and this person. So they, they can no longer connect their energy to you anymore, just period. Somebody could have thought they was going to win something in court too if this is a nasty divorce and they're not getting a fucking thing. <laughs> or they, they didn't get much like they thought they was. Just period. Somebody here did something that was unfair, unjust. I feel like this person was trying to cause people around you to not support you, to not see you as somebody that's trustworthy or whatever. They try to fuck with your support system or your stability. They try to cause you instability. I feel like they're getting bad karma for that because now it's backfiring. This is definitely a lack of support or... um. Somebody here left the community. Hmm. 
Yeah, the Empress, Two of Swords. What's this Four of Wands reverse? Page of Cups reverse. Yeah, a lot of jealousy. Somebody here is jealous. This could be a whole dysfunctional family dynamic. Somebody got a whole family at home, but they send back jealous of you or the person that they got a family with is jealous or whatever. Yeah, this is someone that doesn't want to be seen a certain way. Um, Somebody definitely getting bad news, though. Bad news about a home or about this damn contract being severed. Just period. Mm. What's four of wands reverse page of cups? It's like, damn, you won again. <laughs> Somebody really trying to defeat you. And you keep ducking and dodging whatever the fuck this is. What's the four of wands reverse page of cups reverse? <laughs> yeah, look, six of wands, you won. You it, And it's just like, it's dumb to say, oh, you won. Because it's like, bitch, ain't nobody even competing. Like, you the one sitting up here mad as fuck in secret competition with somebody. Like, this is you feeling confident, happy, secure with yourself a lot of recognition and um support a lot of people that fuck with you so this is a community of hoes that didn't fuck with you or community or your family didn't they were very jealous and envious of you or somebody here didn't want to be seen a certain way so they they went towards a community too that was your ops they didn't fuck with you yeah the high priestess reversed and I feel like you came out victorious. Somebody here getting bad news in court too, though. Somebody getting really bad news in court. Something about a pepperoni and sausage pizza. I'm tasting pizza. Some of y'all could be getting pizza delivered or something like that. <laughs> or you're making one. Whoever this is, they won't take accountability for their actions either. So that's why they ask getting some bad karma. Yeah, this liar. Whoever the fuck this is. What's this justice reverse? Yeah, the Ace of Cups. What's Justice Reverse Ace of Cups? Okay, shit. King of Swords flipped up right. Okay, period. <laughs> so I feel like somebody here is getting bad karma for trying to block somebody's view of things is what I'm getting. This King of Swords, okay, could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could be somebody that is... um waking up here with the ace of cups and the king of swords somebody can now see something very clear because they're receiving downloads this is a lot of abundance and prosperity as well coming in for someone or this is you well that's somebody starting their car i'm like say i know that's not my car making that damn noise um so a new emotionally fulfilling beginning is coming towards you. I feel like um, <clears throat> this is somebody intuition on 10, like on 10,000 right now. This person is very aware of themselves. They're making really clear and conscious decisions. They're not making irrational decisions. They can see very clear. Yeah, now somebody's being publicly embarrassed or humiliated because they look dumb for lying. For doing all this to stop somebody from doing something that they're supposed to be doing, somebody looks stupid. They look really dumb. And you could be seen in a public eye. This person is just jealous. They're jealous. What's the tower, child? Six of Pentacles here in the Three of Cups, period. <laughs> period. Taurus moon here, Cancer, Mercury. So I'm getting there's going to be a celebration here. Some of you guys could be getting recognition and more rewards. Um, uh, also recognition or this could be like you getting a new job. So congratulations or you're celebrating something. This could be new friendships here. Something here that's equal give and take or re reciprocal. Or this could be this person that's waking up coming in to give you this. And somebody is shocked <laughs> that they're coming in to give you some shit. But this is definitely gifts, donations, generosity. This could even be your spirit team coming in to help you with something.
Definitely you being in a position of power and authority. It's like somebody here is really shocked that you are out. It's like weird. Because somebody here thought that they was going to get something. But you're not getting anything. You're not getting your way. You're not having your way at all. This person is crazy. For even sitting up here thinking that shit. Okay, so what spirit numbers? The King of Wands. What spirit numbers with the King of Wands? The Devil. The Hermit. Yeah, so I feel like immediately, as soon as this person starts feeling something, they know how to go within. They know when to kind of like pull back their energy, not indulge in certain things, and when to kind of like push forward. Okay, as soon as the shadow aspect of this person's self come up, they know what to do and where it's coming from. They know how to read their own energy and everything. <clears throat> but we got the devil with the king of wands now. I don't, I don't know about this. We gonna see though. This could just simply be temptation around someone. Yeah, what's the King of Wands? Okay, yeah, we got the King to the Queen of Wands. Now we have the Ten of Cups clarifying the King of Wands. So yeah, this is your counterpart. This could be your counterpart. Some of you guys are getting ready to have children with this person, start a family. Even a family business could be significant. Definitely a divine love here is coming in. What's the King of Wands with the Ten of Cups? They're getting signs and synchronicities now about this shit. King of Cups in the reverse. <laughs> so who the fuck is that? King of Cups in reverse? This could be somebody that is a gaslighter. Whoever this King of Cups in the reverse is, why are they showing up like that? <laughs> like, I just feel like, like, why the fuck did they just pop out like that? For what? Like, what is it? What's, who this bitch right here? Who this, who this hoe? What's the King of Cups reverse? A page of Wands reverse. Yeah, whatever this is, is just very predictable. This person here, they always do this shit every single time. What's this King of Cups reverse page of wands in the reverse? For some of you. The page of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, I was getting ready to say that it was doing magic. I should have said that shit. Somebody here is doing something that's very predictable. They do this shit every time here. Definitely unwork an unworkable plan <clears throat> for sure. But this can cuts in reverse. They definitely not. They definitely do magic for sure. This very very ruthless person. They're doing a lot of divination, spying, watching, whatever. But this person can't see anything because somebody is feeling whole and complete within themselves. When you feel whole and complete, all that magic and all that trying to spy or bind you. Fuck up your sacral chakra and bind their shit to yours so that way they can receive your blessings and you receive theirs. The uh, You receive they fucked up karma, the destiny swapping, the this, the that. It's just not working. It's not going to work. So <clears throat> this person too is being blocked from their gifts. Their creativity is blocked and their intuition is blocked. They're losing their gifts. This person, no, for some of you, this person is in competition with your divine masculine. This is on, like on a spiritual level. This person is competing for your divine masculine spot. And now they're losing their gifts and your divine masculine is gaining their gifts. Like they try to block somebody from seeing something clear. And bitch, it's not working. Yeah, somebody getting rejected and they losing everything. Ten of Pentacles reversed for making a dumbass, foolish decision, trying to compete. Knight of Wands reversed, the death card, the high from reverse. This person need to go to hell. What's the devil? <laughs> What's the damn devil? 
Yeah, five of swords in the reverse. So now somebody is scared that they're going to what? Jail or spiritual jail? This person feels humiliated, embarrassed, defeated. Like, they feel all that. They get in signs, too. That shit is just going haywire for them. And that means they need to back the fuck off, period. They need to back off. What's this? What's the devil with the five of swords reverse? The high freak flipped upright. So there's going to be a peaceful resolu resolution to your issues here because I feel like somebody got you fucked up, Cancer. Could be dealing with a Taurus with this Hierophant. So somebody feels defeated. They do. Somebody could actually be going to jail too. The Hierophant with the Five of Swords reverse. They can really learn them a very valuable lesson. Now they feel ashamed or embarrassed or whatever this is. I feel like, oh, well, this could be even public humiliation. What's the Five of Swords reverse? I feel like too... If this is your masculine showing up in this higher for energy, this is this person with the five of souls reverse where, excuse me, something was miscommunicated or they misinterpreted something. They weren't understanding of something. Now they understand. They understand who they are, what they're doing. They understand the magic. They know when magic is happening or when something is going on with their energy. Like, what's the five of souls reverse? Five of pentacles? Yeah. What's five of souls reverse? Five of pentacles. In the world, yeah, this cycle is over. And somebody's being rejected, left out in the cold, where the fuck they belong. Broken everything else. Because you try to do this shit to somebody else. So when it come back, don't look scared or crazy. The fuck? That's the shit that be tripping me out about people. People don't think that their karma going to come back around, even if it take years. It's karma always going to catch you unexpectedly. Especially for you bitches that know that you're doing wrong to somebody and you don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, you're going to be humbled really quick. Like how this bitch is right now. For some of you, somebody really understands their mission. Somebody could be being called to travel the world and feed like uh, the homeless or go to different countries and cities and stuff like that to give back to the, to the community, help build up the community, build like different schools, churches, homes, things like that to take care of people that are impoverished, like that are stuck in poverty. Somebody understands their mission now, that they're a leader, they're a teacher. They're a wise counsel. They understand that they need to use their wisdom for to help people globally with the world. Help people in lack, just period. Or this is what they understand that you were supposed to do to help them out or something. I feel like you and your person, this, yeah, two of cups, period, and the queen of swords. This is you and your person. Queen of swords, two of cups. Yeah. So a new beginning is starting and this is cause for a celebration for sure. Yeah, eight of wands reverse, three of wands and the seven of wands reverse. Yeah, backfire incoming. Backfire incoming, period. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna write something down, hold on. So let's see, what's money over love here for Cancer? The High Priestess Reverse. Yeah, this high and upright, I feel like that's your masculine. So now they're understanding. This person is understanding something about their past lives too. Either they studying more, learning more about it, or it's just like they're getting a whole bunch of signs and synchronicities where they're being guided to learn more about them and who they are and what's going on around them. This is helping them to understand possibly a connection with you. Pisces energy with the high priestess. So high priestess reverse. Let's see. What's money over love here with the high priestess reverse? Two of Pentacles. Some of you guys need to listen to your intuition about something fluctuating. You need to come back into balance. With money over love, it shouldn't be like that. 
So balance, balance it out, okay? Some of you guys are getting ready to learn a lesson about this. You're getting angel numbers, signs, and synchronicities about your finances. You need to find balance here. <clears throat> but this, this could also talk about, too, where you are actually being able to adapt to changes that you're going through right now. Because there could be, with the high priestess in reverse, somebody's bringing you a lot of unwanted attention. Okay. Somebody could be having outbursts or they tripping. Yeah, because it's a rage. Mood changes, instability. What's the high priestess reverse? The ace of pentacles reverse. What's the high priestess reverse, ace of pentacles reverse? Yeah, temperance reverse. So, yeah, discord, disharmony, egos clashing. Or you could be... You could be over overdoing something and it's bringing, it's causing you to lose more than gain. Or you could be overly worried about something or something like that. Maybe you could be trying to get past something like, I don't really feel like you're being manipulative, but I just feel like, well, maybe that is manipulation <laughs> in a sense. Because you're trying to get around something that you know you need to be doing. So, I don't know. Just be mindful about that. But, um... So somebody, I feel like somebody just missed an opportunity, just period. This person here missed an opportunity and it's big too, because now somebody's able to balance. They know how to adapt and they're, they're flexible. They're open. They're able to maintain and, and keep things going. They know how to multitask. They know how to deal with the fuck shit or this is you. And they also know how to like move forward at the same damn time. <laughs> so somebody who thinks they're being sneaky or lying or trying to like, plan some things out to cause chaos or to cause two people to not see eye to eye or to bring some sort of conflict and mess to your finances. I feel like they got another thing coming, just period. They're trying to cause you to miss an opportunity or whatever the fuck this is. Yeah, bringing about bringing in distractions here with the magician reverse, the fool reverse, because they mad. What the fuck is the uh, temperance reverse, y'all? Yeah, the full reverse, Aquarius. What's the temperance reverse with the full reverse? Some of you guys could be scared to take a leap of faith and do something, yeah, because of a lack of confidence. So this is something major with these three majors here. Okay, Leo, ener Leo energy with the shrimp card reverse. It's time for you to grow and expand with the three of wands. So some of y'all need to let something go. There is something you need to do here because somebody is trying to attack you, but I feel like this attack is to help you grow. So once you understand where the attack is coming from or what the attack is actually attacking, you can actually move forward and grow. Okay. Eight of Wands reverse. Something could be slowing down here. You're seeing something slowing down. Yeah, the Ace of Wands upright, the Magician reverse, Ten of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, it's something you need to balance out, uh, Cancer. I'm about to pull some more cards to see what, what it is, but this could be being too scared of change. You could have fixed signs in your chart. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. You could have, like, an idea that you're keeping to yourself. You're keeping it quiet, but you need to, um, you need to take action on it. This could be you ignoring your intuition with the high priestess reverse. So let's see. What's the two of pentacles? I think I got that for Taurus. Yeah, eight of cups. So you're seeing there's a there's something going up and down, up and up and down. Something is fluctuating here because you're staying somewhere where you don't want to be at. This could be about your money, a job, or something. Eight of cups in the reverse is insecurities. So insecurities could be a situ could be a thing right now. Your solar plexus could be under attack, where you don't feel confident enough to do something. What's the two? Yeah, the magician reverse, judgment reverse. What's the two of pentacles with the eight of cups reverse? Yeah, four of swords in a reverse. So I feel like, yeah, you could be going through some sort of awakening, but um, maybe you feel like you don't need help or you don't need counseling or therapy or something like that, but you might do. Or this is a karmic, so just put yourself where you belong if it's not you, right? Yeah, 444 four, four here you could be saying. So something going on with your stability, your security. Libra, Jupiter. I 
the spirit is trying to stop you from being so overly independent. You could be hyper um, independent for some of you. Where you feel like you can do everything on your own. But now it's like you really need help with something. <laughs> okay. So you need to ask for help. Mm -hmm. Spirit could be putting you through some sort of test. About with the Six of Pentacles, Three of Cups and the Tower. If you need help, you should be able to go to a friend. Spirit could be bringing you in new relationships, new partnerships here. Spirit wants you to trust more. And that could, that could be a hard thing for you because you're used to doing everything on your own or by yourself. So right now you're being guided to a friend to trust your friendships now or trust a friend. Yeah, because you could be meeting new people or making new friends and spirit is guiding you to use these people to help you out. Ask for help when you need it. Okay, that could be hard. Or you need to find balance between your work and your play. What's the four souls reverse? That's like a lack of faith, losing hope or faith here. Ten of Pentacles reverse. Instability. What's four souls reverse, ten of pentacles reverse? This could just be to a karmic energy around you. So cleanse your energy. I mean, they could be kind of like interfering a bit. Yeah, look at this hoe coming out. Queen of Cups reverse. Or that could be you. Where you're overextending yourself. You need to stop overextending yourself, period. If you are, if that's you. But I feel like that that's karmic over there. <laughs> that's karmic. Somebody is whining or they're needy. They're clingy. Mm, this could be a lack of yeah because i'm getting both sides of the of the coin that could be you that is not being receptive and now there's this king of cups in the reverse so that's an issue you need to come back into balance whatever that is this could also be a karmic couple that's going through it but this could be you where you're out of alignment in a sense as far as you being open and receptive to something you're closed off or your trust issues this could have been something that's been on your been like an issue that's been passed down through your through generations where you've always dealt with a lot of jealousy or envy um a lot of people stabbing you in the back so it's hard for you to trust i get it yeah child look at trust it came out i know y'all can't see it because the light is off but yeah trust and evolution spirit wants you to be able to evolve so okay yeah let's see What's this over here? Beauty. I am a spark of divinity. Change me, divine beloved, into one who knows without question my own beauty, worthiness, and desirability. Let me remember constantly who I am, love itself, in a temporary human form. Period. So maybe you don't feel your best right now. You feel like you look a mess or something. You're neglecting yourself. Maybe you could be neglecting yourself a bit. Some of y'all need to come back into balance. We got spirit. I am filled with light. Change me, divine beloved, into one who knows my spirit is eternal and ageless. Let me release any old ideas of constriction or limitation. My whole being is filled with joy, energy, and beauty. A vessel for the divine Shakti. Okay. Uncertainty. Let me deeply trust. May I live in the now and relax peacefully into the unfolding knowing all the pieces of the puzzle will fall into place at the right time and not at not a moment before. Mm. Generosity. I am abundant love. Change me, divine beloved, into one who can easily send blessings to all, even those filled with negativity or fear. May I shower the planet with love, knowing there is an unlimited ocean within me. Give me one more, please. Violence. Yeah, you're, you're, so you're uncertain that you're going to be taken care of. You're uncertain that um, people aren't going to be generous with you like you're generous with them. So I feel like right now there's a need for you to be open and flexible. You need to be like flexible. Being flexible right now and being open is important because you're not allowing yourself to receive the help that you need. Same shit I told Taurus at the end. So it says, balance, my needs will be met. 
Change me, divine beloved, into one who can fully offer my schedule to you so my life can be in balance. Let me take rest whenever necessary, trusting that one way or another, all needs will be met. So yeah, you you need to find balance in your life here. Have fun, loosen up. But I feel like you feel like you can't do that because you're going to lose something. It could be money or something like that. Like your money could be fluctuating up and down, up and down. But I feel like spirit blesses you more when you honor your body and yourself. When you take care of yourself. So you're getting signs and synchronicities here. Spirit's going to bring in a tower to show your ass that you need to stop ignoring something. Cancer. Let's see. Give me a card, please. Archangel Metatron, spiritual power, esoteric wisdom, and sacred geometry. Oh. Archangel Metatron is the voice of God and the angel of esoteric wisdom. He can help you activate spiritual knowledge and power through spiritual teachings, books, practices, downloads of higher wisdom, light codes, and sacred geometry. Archangel Metatron works with both the both the earth star and soul star chakras, anchoring your pillar of light into the earth beneath you and into source energy above so that you can live in alignment with love and wisdom. Archangel Metatron also supports children, especially those who are on the autism spectrum, have ADHD or other issues that make growing up especially difficult. Okay, some of you got some of y'all could could um could have those kind of issues. Okay. So it says the Oracle. It is time to step into and own your true spiritual power. For love and relationships, it says children around you may need extra support. Support and care for your own inner child. For your work, activate and own your spiritual power by sharing your knowledge and wisdom through your work. Mm. For your home, it says use the power of sacred geometry around the home by creating crystal grids or hanging sacred geometry artwork. For your money, connect with money as an energy and align yourself to the frequencies of that energy to bring in the amount you need or want at this time. Place symbols of sacred geometry in your purse or wallet. For your well-being, gift yourself some quiet time for reading, studying, and reflection. For spirituality, work with sacred geometry in meditation, visualization, energy healing, and spell work. Work with the symbol of Metatron's cube, a sacred three-dimensional cube containing the five platonic solids that symbolize the building blocks of the universe. So it says, call on Archangel Metatron for assistance with understanding spiritual concepts and teachings, finding the right spiritual paths and tools for you at this time, working with and understanding sacred geometry, seeing your place in the web or grid of universal divine light, and activating your Makaba, a light grid surrounding you in the shape of the three-dimensional Star of David that can be used for protection and to transport you to higher levels of consciousness. Children in your life who are having a difficult time and healing and supporting the inner child. So it says to embody the energy of Archangel Metatron. I mean, embody the energy of Archangel Metatron by owning and activating your spiritual power, remembering we are all one and all connected, being a pillar of light, sharing your spiritual wisdom and knowledge with others who are ready to receive it, and helping others to feel more at home and supported in the physical world. Uh, okay, yeah, I just said that. Didn't I say that? Helping others to feel more at home and supported in the physical world. Yeah, you could be doing something. With the world and the five of pentacles. I feel like you're scared to share your knowledge here. For some of you, you could be scared to like share your knowledge or you feel like somebody's already doing something. So you need to switch something up. But I feel like you have your own spin to something. I mean, it's a lot of people doing the same thing. You know how many people are out here doing hair, makeup. Everybody does it. Everybody has their own taste. So if you feel like that, you need to not feel like that. A cancer. Okay. It's something about your confidence right now. Yeah, that's blocking your finances for sure. Ace of Pentacles reverse, you're experiencing delays or setbacks or something. Okay, so that, that's what you need to work on. So when I do the next reading, hopefully you guys are changing the energy. <laughs> okay. You need to believe in your power, believe in yourself here. So this was your reading, Cancerians. Thank you guys um, for tuning in. I know that the light wasn't all here, but you know, hopefully you got the message. Like, comment, subscribe, turn, you, uh, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you won't miss my readings. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.